Welcome to Collecting Chaos. It's Freeform Friday. Now, over the last few years, a lot of people have asked me, how do you get started cleaning comics or repairing comics? And I'm not going to go into how to start repairing them today. But I did decide that I would show you some minimum things that you might want to pick up so that you can start working on learning to clean them. First thing you want to pick up is this video. <laughs> And uh, we'll get started right after this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot the introduction. So, uh, yeah, the first thing you want to pick up, I would recommend getting some of these. Uh, you can pick these up anywhere. High polymer eraser caps, uh, latex free. You can pick them up at Walmart. Target, uh, probably Walgreens has them, uh, any big box store, any uh, any stationery store, any place that sells office supplies probably has these, or school supplies probably has these. The next thing you might want to pick up some cotton swabs. And I'll show you why a little bit later, but basically these come in handy for all kinds of things. Now I'm not going to go into more detailed stuff that you might want to get that, that's more advanced. I'm going into real basic stuff. The next item, if I can find it, I got a big package of them somewhere. Well, they're makeup pads, cotton rounds. That's all they are. And uh, I've got a big bag of them somewhere and I don't know what I did with it. So it's over here somewhere. So that's the basic stuff you need to get started. And of course, you might want to have a comic book. Now, now when you start out, use some old comics that aren't really worth anything, that aren't in very good condition. Uh, because you're probably going to ruin some. Uh, things I don't think you should get. Magic erasers. A lot of people swear by these. I don't. Uh, I used them a couple of times. If you're not careful, it'll take the gloss right off the comic. So kind of stay away from those. At least that's my opinion. And there's some other erasers you can get too. Uh, you can get an art gum eraser. If you get one of these, what you want to do is, well, I'll show you when the time comes. But uh, these come in handy for different things. So, yeah, a couple of different types of erasers. Uh, maybe a kneaded eraser. Uh, don't have one of those right now. Uh, but they're not bad to pick up either. And, of course, you'll need something to put the cap on. Now I have some cap, some of these caps on X-Acto tools. This is the one I use for when I'm putting comics back together and I want to make a, a, a I want to make the hole for the uh, staples to go in. I'll use this. But I have regular X-Acto knives too. Uh, this one doesn't have a, an eraser tip on it. I think the one that the other one that has the eraser tips in another room. So that'll get you started. Just some erasers and, and some uh, cotton rounds and some uh, Q-tips. That that's enough to get you started. And I'm going to show you where to start in just a second. Uh, I need to go get something from the other room. So I'll be right back. Okay, the other things I wanted to get, I wanted to get a fresh thing of cotton rounds. Uh, my white eraser and a microfiber cloth. And I'll show you what I'm going to use the microfiber cloth for in a few minutes. Uh, but let's get started. And we're going to start with this Teen Titans number uh, 22. 
and uh, we're going to try to clean a little bit of the dirt off. I would normally do a wet clean because that's mostly what I do now. But I want to show you the basics and the basics are dry cleaning. Uh, the other thing you might want to have is a couple of old backing boards. Just to put in there and that gives you a nice surface to work on. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the staples. And in this case the staples are fairly shiny but I still like to just take your cotton swab and run back and forth over the staples and you'll get a little dirt off of them. And all we're doing is we're basically polishing the staple. Make it look pretty and nice and clean. Uh, make it look silvery again. Next we're going to take our uh, pencil topper and we're going to start going over the white areas and you do this real lightly you don't want to put hardly any pressure at all because all you're trying to do is take off the surface dirt and really the but before you start that let me go ahead and open this up first thing you want to do before you start doing anything else is just take a cotton swab and wipe down the comic because it may have a little dust on it that's loose and this will take that off and sometimes this is all you need to do uh, I do one side at a time I'll do the back side when I get ready to do the back now let me take this and put it under the front cover and this one has a spine roll, and I'll be wanting to take care of that later, but that falls under repair, and we're not going to cover it under this video. Uh, now, this is another smaller area, so I'll go ahead and use the... Like I said, real light. All you're trying to do is get some of the dirt off. I wouldn't try to get it brilliant white just take off some of the dirt without having to take off any of the gloss take your microfiber cloth and flick away the erasings now when you come to the larger areas I tend to use this more when I'm using dry cleaning for large white areas but another way you can do it is you can take your art gum eraser and just crumble it up a little bit and you don't need anything fancy for this you can do it with your thumb like I'm doing it you can use a, a cheese grater to do it however you want to do it but the idea is you want little bits and pieces of eraser on there and take your pad put it on top of it and just go around And you will be amazed at how much how much that takes off and you can do that for the colored areas and that's a good way to clean the colored areas see we're getting quite a bit of dirt on there so a couple of different ways you can use erasers Um, I have a, a horsehair brush that I use a lot too, uh, but we're talking about just basic stuff and this, this is a lot easier to come by than that, that uh, other brush that I have. Then we've got some smaller areas. We'll just go ahead and go in here like this. Real light. Not trying to make it super clean just trying to get the, the uh, some of that surface dirt in that's in it get that off of there a 
I'm going to switch to my larger eraser because this is a larger area. And you can see it's taking dirt off because he's got dirt on the eraser. So you've been cleaning for a while, you've got dirt on your eraser and you want to get it off. One of the easiest ways to get it off is just take an old piece of corrugated cardboard and just, there you go, nice and clean. And we'll clean up a little bit more down here. And sometimes I'll do this before I do a wet cleaning. And that way the... Um, wet cleaning solution doesn't have to work quite as hard because we've already taken a lot of the surface dirt off. Let's work on the colored areas a little more. And you can buy special pads that uh, have era basically eraser dust in them and you just pop, put the pads down and it'll, it'll do the same thing as this. And that's a light cleaning. Uh, show you the difference here. Let me get a fresh pad out. And you can see it did take quite a bit of dirt off that cover. Now we'll flip it over. Get rid of all the eraser things. and start it on the back cover. And, and what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go in the lines. <coughs> and we're just going to clean up any in between the lines here. Like I said, we do this real light. We don't want to put hardly any pressure on it. You put too much pressure on it, you're going to remove gloss. And that's not something we want to do. Now you can spend a lot of time on this. Uh, the first time I did this, I think I spent about three days on one comic. Now I can now I know a little better about what I'm doing, and I can go and get a comic to reasonable cleanliness in you know 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I'm not going to try to get it all off or finish cleaning this 
today we're just giving you the basics. Showing you some of the different tools and how to use them. And these are tools that you can pick up anywhere. Yeah. Any big box store, any department store, a lot of grocery stores, they're going to have the makeup pads, they're going to have the eraser caps, they're going to have art gum erasers, you know, you can find this stuff almost anywhere. And what I'm doing, I'm not actually erasing the print, I'm erasing between the lines. But yeah, that's that's one of the easiest way to dry clean a comic. Just like this. And it's relaxing. You can do this and just watch TV or whatever you're doing do pay attention to what you're doing but you don't have to give it your undivided attention once you once you've done it a few times it's fairly easy I don't use pink erasers uh, I don't like them. I like the white and the art gum erasers. They seem to work f better for me. I do know people that do use the, the pink erasers and they swear by them. Uh, it's just not my style. But they get good results so I'm not going to say they're wrong. Let's see if I can get this to break up a little more. Again, let's get a clean one out so you can compare the two and look at the dirt that came off of that comic. And that was just quick and easy and not a big deal. Makes it look a whole lot better. Uh, if you're doing, I don't do this to make my comics get better grades because I don't get my comics graded anyway. I do it for aesthetics, you know, because I like them to look nice. Uh, same thing with a spine roll. I take them, take spine rolls out, not because I want them to grade higher or because I'm going to sell them, but because I like the way they look when they don't have a spine roll, and they'll last longer because the staples won't are less prone to tear out of the comic when it doesn't have a spine roll. So I'll fix that up a little bit later. But there you go. That's how you get started cleaning comics, uh, dry cleaning comics. Uh, easy stuff, uh, all easily, uh, easy acquire, easy stuff to acquire. Uh, you can even get one of those big fat makeup brushes and use that to, to clean off the, the comic. Uh, you could use a, a, a paintbrush with about a two inch paintbrush to clean off the, the, uh, eraser residue from a comic. Lots of different things you can do. But uh, that's the basics. And uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. Maybe it's just stuff you already knew. Uh, but I have been getting asked this more and more. And you can do this with more than just comics. You can do this with paperback books also. Uh, I'm not going to go into how to repair paperback books. I do know how. There's lots of videos on that out in YouTube land. So just you do a search, you'll find it. Uh, so there you go. Don't forget, before you handle your comics, your collectibles, you wash your hands. It's good for your comics. It's good for your collectibles. It's good for your health. And we'll see you next video. Bye.